So you are a super advanced computer that's known as a bioorganism that holds light within it, which is called information. Feel me? Right. And that information is accessed, you know what I'm saying, through the quantum realm, known as your thoughts. The thoughts and neurons and memories give off, you know what I'm saying, an arcing principle of electricity in your brain, which was also known as El in the ancient days, right? El was known as God, Elohim. And the messages of God were the arcs, principles that arc to one neuron to the next. That gave you a full picture of thought. And your thought was both based upon your will. So your will, or what you desire, your passion, your focus, your attention, that would generate your ability to manifest that thought into reality. Mm. <clears throat> and so knowing yourself means that you know that you're a thought creating being. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And you're aware of it. Not just that you think of it, but you know it. Not that you believe it because I told you, but you actually know it by you practicing the methods of knowing and understanding yourself. Like just the first essence of knowing that you're a thought creating being is closing your eyes. You close your eyes, you go within instantaneously. And nothing but thoughts come. Random thoughts are that. The real key is actually just focusing on only one thought and shaping it through visualization. Mm. Now, that's what the concept of knowing thyself breaks down to.